Hello friends, I'm Dr. T. Today we're going to explore basic concepts in exercise. These concepts will make it easier for you to understand exercise, the magic pill. We are asking these questions. Number one, what is a calorie? Uh, number two, how many calories your body consumes at rest? In other words, what is the resting metabolic rate? Uh, question number three, what is a MET, a metabolic equivalent of task? Number four, how do we calculate your fitness uh, level using uh, METs? And what are the implications? Let's start at question number one. Uh, what is a calorie? A calorie unit of energy equivalent to the heat energy needed to raise the temperature one gram of water by one degree uh, Celsius. But when we talk about nutrition and value uh, of foods, a calorie is really a kilocalorie, it's the equivalent of the heat necessary to raise the temperature of one kilogram of water by one degree uh, Celsius. So when we're talking about calories here, we mean one kilocalorie. Question number two, how many calories does your body burn at rest? What's your resting uh, metabolic uh, rate? And resting metabolic rate, in fact, uh, it's the amount of energy required for your body to perform the basic functions, that just to keep you uh, alive. And uh, the essential functions like uh, breathing, you're breathing uh, 10 to 20 times a minute, your heart is uh, beating between 60 and 100 uh, times a minute, and, uh, if you are at rest, your blood is circulating, there's basic brain functions going on, there's food digestion, there's uh, calories required to sustain the function of the vital organs with uh, uh, no physical activity whatsoever. And the rest of the metabolic rate depends on your uh, sex, in your gender, in your height, in your uh, weight. Obviously, a bodybuilder will have a higher resting metabolic rate. Uh, depends on age, it decreases with age, genetics, the climate. If you live in a cold environment, you're going to increase the resting metabolic rate. Uh, if you're pregnant, you're going to have an increased resting metabolic rate. And in general, the resting metabolic rate was one calorie per kilogram of body weight per hour. So if you weigh 70 kilograms, you need 70 calories per hour, or 70 times 24, you will uh, give you 1680 calories just to keep you alive. And this includes the energy required for digestion. Usually, it's five to ten percent of calories injected. So, if you have a meal with a thousand calories, you're going to need fifty to hundred calories just to digest, to absorb, and to store that energy. Let's look at question number three. What is a MET, a metabolic equivalent of task? A metabolic equivalent of task, a MET, is the oxygen consumed by kilogram of body weight per minute and represents the amount of oxygen used by the body while at rest, sitting quietly. Uh, for instance, the intensity of activity can be identified by uh, the metabolic equivalent of task. So one MET uh, is again the rate at which you burn energy while sitting. If you're sleeping, uh, you usually need 0 0.9 mets. And let's look at the concept of met hour. Is the metabolic equivalent of activity in one hour? So if you're jogging at five miles per hour, it's an activity that implies eight mets. If you do it for half an hour, so eight times 0 0.5 is going to be four mets hour. If you do that three times a week, uh, the same amount will be uh, four times three will be 12 mets hour per that week. And here's a link to the compendium of physical activities. You can find the mets associated with any sports, with any activity, swimming, even sitting in church or carrying a child. And it's free. You could just uh, uh, check it out. Uh, the concept of meds is also important. I uh, used during the exercise stress test in your doctor's office. During the stress test, we looked at symptoms that develop the exercise. If you're having chest pain, if you're having uh, shortness of breath, we look at the EKG changes, electrocardiographic changes. We monitor your blood pressure, your uh, heart rate, your uh, oximetry, your oxygen level. But the duration of the test, how long you can go on the protocol, usually the Bruce protocol, uh, has a lot of prognostic implications. And if you can uh, 
uh, reach 10 minutes on the Bruce protocol will be equivalent to 10 mats, you're going to do very well. Why? Because if you can reach 10 mats, it doesn't matter uh, what happened to you in the past. You could have had a heart attack, you could have a stent place, you had bypass surgery. If you can do 10 mats on the treadmill, you're going to do very well indeed. Different types of fitness, uh, muscle strength, fitness, flexibility, uh, but today we're going to concentrate on, on cardio, cardiorespiratory fitness. Uh, and uh, it really refers to the capacity of the circulatory respiratory system supply oxygen to skeletal muscles, the mitochondria, for energy production during physical activity. And it's measured by the VO2 max, the maximum oxygen consumption that you can obtain during maximum exercise. But uh, although this is the gold standard, it's expensive, requires special equipment, you need a special mask that uh, is attached to your face and measure the amount of oxygen going in, the CO2 coming out and so on. So we can use the mats to give us an idea, the VO2 max without going through the uh, gold standard test. And the VO2 max uh, peaks at age 20 and then decreases it. Uh, if you physically fit as an athlete, you could reach a very high oxygen, uh, VO2 max oxygen consumption. Uh, it's a rumor that Cristiano Ronaldo, for instance, uh, has a 75, 80 uh, VO2 max. I'm not sure if it's uh, uh, accurate or not. Uh, you calculate your current respiratory fitness using just a plain uh, treadmill stress test. And if you um, use the Bruce protocol, if you finish three minutes you, at 1.7 miles, a 10% grade, you reach three mats. If you reach six minutes, you have five mats. If you completed uh, stage three, nine minutes, you got to seven mats. And if you went 10 minutes on the Bruce protocol, you reach 10 mats. And this is very important, uh, again, because it has a prognostic implications for your future, how well you're going to do and how long you're going to live. And in summary, today we reviewed basic concepts in exercise, what is a calorie, what is resting metabolic rate, what's a met metabolic equivalent of task, and uh, how can you see how fit you are using uh, the MET concept. If you want to now, if it's safe for you to exercise, please check this video, Cardiac Rest and Athletes, Top 2 Warning Signs. And remember, your health is too important to be to get to others. Let's just take control. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, write a comment. I really need your advice. I publish these videos on the second and fourth Friday of each month. See you next video.